Hey guys, what's up? Blink back, and it's time for yet another story time, which I sort of wish never happened. So if you guys know, I am in high school, and well, I'm 18, so I can drive. If you're 18 and you don't drive, well, get your freaking license, get a car, and drive. It's like the Fahizi. Well, anyway, so what happened was, I mentioned this in an early video about something happened to my car. And I guess you can tell from the uh, title of the video, I was in a crash. So I got my license about a year ago, so like 2015 in December I want to say. I could be a little off with that by a month or two, but I've been driving for more than, or almost a year with my actual license. And I got my car in the beginning of August um, for 2016. So I've had the car for about six months. So what happened was, uh, I was in school Thursday, uh, December 22nd, and we had a half day. So we got off around like 11-ish, 12, and me and some of my friends were like, hey, let's go to this diner near uh, Exeter. And I was like, oh, okay, I've never been there. They've been there. They said it was amazing food. And I like food. Who doesn't? If you don't like food, <sighs> Let me tell you. Well, anyway, so they we all decided to take our own cars. I obviously took my own since I drove it. Oh yeah, my car is also a 2001 Hyundai Sonata Blue. It is gorgeous. I love it. The interior was amazing. I got it for only $1,500, minus all the extra payments I had to put on it. And it only had around 96,000 miles on it, which was amazing. So basically, I leave school, get on the highway, uh, start heading to, to this diner and I get up to these two ed exits one goes onto the highway that leads into the Pottstown area one leads into the Reading area and I actually got on the Reading instead of the Pottstown to go to Exeter so you know I'm driving I'm driving along and then I realize crap I got off on the wrong exit so I pull over to the side call my friend up like hey can you tell me the address of this diner I'll put in my GPS and go and he's like oh okay thanks bye Put down my phone, start driving it back on. I get off the next exit, and what I did, my GPS was told me to take three rights and then left. Basically what it told me to do was get to the stop, the stop light, take a right, take another right into this community, take another right to head back to the mainish road, and then cross the road to take a left in order to go into the opposite direction so I could get back onto the highway um, in order to uh, start heading to the diner. Well, my adventure was cut uh, a little short uh, So I take the three rights and I'm about to take the left. There's a stop sign. I stop n Didn't do anything wrong. I stop I look left right left and the one thing I noticed is there's all these school buses parked on the side of the road of this main road that it doesn't even go down to like a school speeding um, speed limit because even though it's actually a school the main road doesn't have that which to me it's a little confusing I mean why wouldn't you have that 15 mile limit right next to a school I mean, but anyway I stop at this stop sign I look left right left don't see anybody coming all I see is this line of buses and you know people coming the other way so I pull out uh, the thing about this road is instead of having one lane going forward and one going the other way you have two lanes, two going one way and two coming the other way. So I cross the first lane and I'm about to cross the second lane when I see this car coming the other way. So I slow down just a smidge, but I'm still moving. All of a sudden I look to my left and all I can see in my window is just all this green. And a few seconds later I discovered was a tractor trailer. I got hit by tractor trailer he hit me my car moved over a bit I, I was surprised no glass not even the uh, airbag went off at all and I was really shaken up after the first the first few seconds was like oh, I almost died oh. and then the next few seconds I was like okay I was in a crash no one got hurt thing uh, just before I go into the rest of the story I wasn't injured at all and the other driver or any standard buys was not hurt whatsoever. I, I don't really want to get anyone else involved. You guys know me, but I don't really want to
give out any other purple people's information so i'm just going to say that guy or something i'm not actually going to give names or any of that so anyway the truck driver gets out of the car or his truck comes over to me and he checks to see if i'm okay i'm like yeah dude i'm okay are you okay and he's like yeah yeah i'm okay um and we talked for a bit he had his tractor trailer pulled over um i ended up parking in a parking lot to get out of the way um and since his tractor trailer was owned by a company uh his boss told him to call the cops get him down here like that type of thing like cops arrest this man for smacking my car no it's nothing like that no it's more like hey can you come over investigate the situation make sure everyone's okay yada 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 so no i gave him my we exchanged information and i sort of went into the road safely safely to pick up uh two parts of my car and uh, my mirror which wasn't on my car anymore which if you know your mirror's supposed to be on your car not on the road with wires ripped apart so everyone was okay uh legally it was my fault um i didn't do anything wrong i didn't break any laws so i didn't get a citation which was amazing uh just a few people i want to thank. uh the tra the tractor trailer driver obviously i don't know if you guys will see this at all this video but if there would be anybody i would want my first crash to be involved with I'm so happy it was you. I'm not saying the crash was good. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that you were responsible. You were more down to earth, I want to say. Like, you weren't like, oh, you crashed. Like, it's all your fault. And you're like, dude, I understand. Crap happens. And that just really meant a lot to me. I, it really calmed me down, I would say. Because one of the things I was thinking was like, crap, I had the stop sign. He didn't. This guy's going to be pissed at me and you weren't not even your company just at the moment it really meant a lot and i'm so happy that you're okay uh, a few more people i want to thank uh the the police officers from the wyoming missing police department uh there were two of them they came down helped us out and i just really want to thank them for responding i'm a huge supporter of the police uh force even though yes crap does happen which you do see on the news but they are here to protect us and they were doing their job and they got there pretty darn fast after they called them it was two minutes two minutes maybe and they showed up it was extremely fast and then another there's this uh one guy i don't know his name and i feel like crap that i never asked him for his name but basically he was one of the very first people to actually come to my car while the truck driver or the tractor trailer driver was pulling over he ran over from my car i'm guessing he lives around the area because he knew it really well he was like dude are you okay i'm like yeah man and my door wouldn't even open and he helped me open my door like i pushed and he pulled and i got in my car and just everyone else who even though when the crash was finally over people would just come up and like roll down the window and be like yo dude are you okay and i'll be like yeah i'm i'm okay i'm fine thank you for asking and it just means a lot that people would do that you definitely get to see the good in the world that way well anyway i'm going to show you uh my car yeah it got pretty dim enough so I got home fine, I left, blah, 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 blah. I started to examine my car, and that definitely needed to be fixed up. Uh, so far, I've gotten the triaxle and the wheel alignment replaced, which was about 340. I got a brand new door from a junk car, which was about 50. The problem with that, though, is when I went to go replace the front of my door with my dad and uh, the help of my neighbor, my frame was actually bent, too. So the doors, the bad door's still on there, but we replaced the mirror so I can legally drive it. Cause you can't drive without a mirror. And now I have to get the wheel bearing and then also this greaser part replaced, which is gonna be about another 360. So that all happened. I'm just glad that I'm okay and that no one else was hurt. If there was anything, I'm glad that this was my first crash that no one got hurt, it wasn't too extreme, like it wasn't of, 
Oh, cars total, blah, 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 blah. I'm just grateful that everyone's okay. Yes, my wallet is almost dead because of this crash, but I mean, what are you gonna do? So anyway, I think uh, you guys actually want to see the crash. I got this. This is from the dash cam footage of the actual tractor trailer. Um, so uh, play it. So anyway guys, thanks for watching my video, uh, thanks for hearing my story. If you guys like this video, give it a big old thumbs up. If you guys ever been in a car crash or any crash at all, put it in the comments down below. I want to see how many people have had experiences like this, where just a tractor trailer just comes out of nowhere and just like, and in your car, and you're like, ah! Anyway guys, and if you want to see more videos like this or any of my other videos on this channel, Subscribe to be part of my big old family here on YouTube. With that, I'm signing out. Till the next video. Bye bye.